AutoGPT, the tool that everyone's talking about. GPT. Called AutoGPT. Familiar with AutoGPT. Imagine a tool that can do everything. It can build an app, it can make websites, summarize tedious meetings, it can order food for us, and you just sit back and scroll through Instagram while your personal assistant does everything for you automatically. And every time I completed a task, it would add a new task to the bottom of that list. It searched a bunch of different wine tasting venues. It found a venue that had a bocce ball and lawn area for kids. It came up with a schedule. It created a budget. It created a checklist for an event planner. It did all these things. My friend says he's actually going to book the venue this weekend and use it. Some very tech savvy people are already doing amazing things with this tool, but can regular people like me pull off the same magic? Opinions on AutoGPT are all over the place. Some see it as pointless, others see it as dangerous, and puzzle bros in particular are convinced that this is a total game changer. So is AutoGPT truly revolutionary or is it just an overhyped tool? So let's begin with the challenge. I asked AutoGPT to generate a website or a blog about cats. It's a self-prompting tool, which means that it should be able to self-prompt itself until it completes the task. Just in order to be more specific, I also set additional few goals. So it should use React components and it should generate images for the website. And it's gonna prompt Dali and save all of the image files into the laptop. And once it's done, then I would manually uh, create the React app and then run it on my local server. You can either install AutoGPT on your desktop or you can run it in your browser. Agent GPT, Cognosis, God Mode, those are some of the websites that you can visit if you want to run Autonomous Agent in your browser. You will, however, have to provide your OpenAI API key. First step is to name your AI and you should also give it a role. My AutoGPT agent decided that the first thing that it should do should be to browse the internet for some cat blogs. And it seemed to be very well aware of the doom scrolling and its damaging effects. Unfortunately, that self-awareness wasn't very helpful. AutoGPT then proceeded googling endlessly for the next 45 minutes. I let it do its own thing for the next couple of hours. However, I did notice that my OpenAI bill kept increasing, which is why I decided to terminate the run and check the progress that AutoGPT has made so far. First thing I noticed is that I have three new images of not particularly happy cats in boxes for whatever reason. And also one more image of a sleepy cat. All images were saved regularly into AutoGPT's output folder and they all had awful looking names. I could see that AutoGPT saved a couple of JavaScript files as well as some text files that didn't really do much. Once I started opening JavaScript files, it became apparent to me that this is a very ridiculous code. First of all, none of the JavaScript files were linked between each other. And on top of that, some of the files actually only contained one comment, for example, boilerplate code for cat page or something. React components had non-existent image sources. There was also an empty header. The code was obviously full of errors and I'm still not sure what some of the pages were supposed to do. Like this one, for example. There was only one file that made sense. So I created my React tab and I copy pasted the code from that file. And this is what the final design of the web page about cats looks like. Pretty underwhelming, I guess. I'm pretty sure that if I just asked ChatGPT4 to give me code for a website about cats, it would do a better job. Now that the AutoGPT has finished the challenge, it's time for me to break down the list of pros and cons and discuss why I think that hype is understandable and to a certain extent justifiable as well. When it comes to cons, I'd say that the most important thing to keep in mind is that this is a very expensive toy. If you let it run, a couple of hours on its own. It's easy to forget that, that you will in the end get a bill from OpenAI. Also, this tool is very buggy and it's not gonna have a real production value. Even though the output might save time, it, it's just not a very useful way to go about your tasks. Despite these drawbacks, it's actually easy to see why people are genuinely excited about AutoGPT. Self-prompting is a new concept and a groundbreaking paradigm in the mainstream AI community. Everyone can sense the potential 
even if these tools are really not there yet. We just cannot use them in everyday life yet. The hype surrounding AutoGPT is a reflection of our collective excitement about the future of AI as we envision the world where technology automates boring, mundane tasks and leaves us time to focus on more important and creative tasks.